Hello, and welcome to Library Time with Mrs. Bradford. Today we are reading a book called Ruby Finds a Worry. Now, if you don't know what the word worry means, um, I like to think of it as asking that question over and over, what if? And it's not the what if dreaming question, like what if we can make it to the moon? It's the what if my friends don't like me? What if they laugh? those kinds of what-if questions. And when we let those kinds of questions stay in our minds for a long, long time, they become worries. And sometimes, a lot of times, they keep us from doing things that we really love. So let's find out what Ruby does in Ruby Finds a Worry. Ruby Finds a Worry by Tom Percival. Ruby loved being Ruby. She loved to swing up high, and she loved to explore wild, faraway places. Sometimes she even went all the way to the very bottom of the garden. Ruby was perfectly happy until one day she discovered a worry. It wasn't a very big worry. In fact, it was so small that at first Ruby hardly noticed it. But then the worry began to grow. Each day, it got a little bigger. It just wouldn't leave her alone. It was there at breakfast, staring at her over the cereal box. And it was still there at night when she brushed her teeth. The funny thing was that no one else could see Ruby's worry, not even her teacher. So Ruby pretended that she couldn't see it either. She even tried to carry on as if everything was normal, but it just wasn't. The worry was always there, stopping her from doing things that she loved. Ruby wondered if the worry would ever go away. What if it didn't? What if it stayed with her forever? Ruby didn't realize it, but she was doing the worst thing you can ever do with the worry. She was worrying about it. Now the worry was enormous. It could barely fit in the kitchen at dinner time. It filled up half the school bus. And it took up whole rows at the movie theater. The worry became the only thing that Ruby could think about, and it seemed like she would never feel happy again. Then one day, something unexpected happened. Ruby noticed a boy sitting alone at the park. He looked how she felt sad. And then she noticed something else, something hovering next to him. Could it be a worry? It was. Ruby realized that she wasn't the only person with a worry after all. Other people had them too. She asked the boy what was on his mind, and as he told her, the strangest thing happened. His worry began to shrink. Then Ruby did the best thing you can ever do if you have a worry. She talked about it. As the words tumbled out, Ruby's worry began to shrink until it was barely there at all. Soon, both of their worries were gone. Finally, Ruby felt like herself again. Of course, that wasn't the last time she ever had a worry. Everyone gets them from time to time. But now that she knew how to get rid of them, they never hung around for long. 